Beef raised near the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and shipped to Tokyo has been found to contain radiation exceeding Japanese safety standards. Shit! Shit! The Japanese limit for radioactive cesium in beef is 500 becquerels per kilogram. But the Tokyo Metropolitan Government found 2,300 becquerels per kilogram of beef raised near the Fukushima nuclear plant. It says the beef was not made available to consumers. The health ministry says it is the first time beef has been found with such high radioactivity since the nuclear crisis began. It has told the prefectures surrounding Fukushima to step up their beef inspections. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is preparing to send workers into one of the damaged reactor buildings. They're going to prepare for work to prevent a hydrogen explosion. Tokyo Electric Power Company is going to send workers into the building on Friday afternoon to check if pipes can be installed to begin injecting nitrogen into the containment vessel. The move comes one day after the company sent a camera-mounted robot into the reactor building, but the robot was unable to reach the area near the containment vessel where the pipes are set to be installed. Preventing a hydrogen explosion is key to bringing the troubled power plant under control. TEPCO says it still does not know whether nitrogen can be injected into the reactor by July 17th as planned. The Japanese government has found that electrical equipment at a nuclear power plant in eastern Japan does not meet earthquake resistance standards. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency inspected nuclear power plants nationwide after the March 11th earthquake damaged the Fukushima Daiichi near uh, nuclear power plant. The plant was unable to cool its reactors after losing power. The agency found that the level of quake resistance of various electrical components at Tokai Daini nuclear power plant in Ibaraki prefecture was below the standard voluntarily set by power companies. The Tokai Daini plant is currently undergoing routine inspections. The operator says it plans to strengthen the quake resistance of its equipment during the inspection period. The Nuclear Safety Agency says the electrical hardware in other nuclear power plants is up to standards. Once the agency identifies the cause of the damage to electrical gear at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, it plans to re-examine all nuclear power plants in the country. Once the agency identifies the cause of the damage to electrical gear at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, it plans to re-examine all nuclear power plants in the country. Prime Minister Naoto Kan's decision to order additional safety tests at all nuclear power plants in Japan has triggered a backlash from local governments. The government announced the so-called stress tests on Wednesday. The decision has received support in some quarters because the tests will reassure people living near the plants that they are safe. But local governments hosting nuclear power facilities have strongly criticized the abruptness of the announcement. The decision has also triggered confusion about the status of the Genkai nuclear plant in Saga Prefecture, western Japan. 
Last month, the central government asked local governments near the Genkai plant for approval to restart the reactors, saying they were safe. But this week, it suddenly decided on additional tests. The announcement came just as the governor of Saga Prefecture, Yasushi Furukawa, was about to decide whether to approve the restart. On Thursday, the mayor of Genkai town, Hideo Kishimoto, retracted his earlier approval to restart the reactors. Industry Minister Banri Kayeda suggested on the same day that he is prepared to step down. I'll resign from my post at an appropriate time to take responsibility. As politicians, we have to accept responsibility. The central government says it intends to work out the details of the safety tests as soon as possible. Observers say the latest developments have put additional pressure on Prime Minister Khan to resign immediately. Thank you very much, everybody. Kyushu Electric Power Company has admitted that its entire nuclear energy division may have been involved in a scheme aimed at influencing public opinion to restart the Genkai power plant. It's known that a manager asked staff at Kyushu Electric and workers at four affiliated firms to send emails to a government hosting briefing session to express support for the reactor's resumption. The manager was found to be acting on an order from a senior official. More than 1,500 people were asked to send the messages. It has come to light on Friday that two of the utilities executives, including a former vice president in charge of nuclear power generation, told their subordinates they were counting on them, referring to the briefing session. The two reportedly believe that the briefing was quite important because it was scheduled right before the company's general shareholders meeting. The gathering held last month in Saga City answered questions from area residents in preparation for the resumption of the Genkai plant. The briefing was aired on cable TV and viewers were invited to send emails and faxes with their opinions. Industry Minister Bandi Kayeda says he will keep utility companies in check to prevent a recurrence of the latest scandal. I'm very disappointed that the nature and mindset of power companies haven't changed at all, even after the Fukushima accident. I mean, can you ever really trust another human being, Greg? Sure, I think so. No, the answer is you cannot. <laughs> 